Hey guys, before I get into this video, I wanna quickly talk about Avalon Accessories. Avalon Accessories is a website where you can purchase Vanguard themed dice. They have units from V-Series and Nation Symbols or D-Series as well. They're very high in quality and I highly recommend that you guys check them out if you wanna get some custom made Vanguard themed dice. Check out all their dice at avalonaccessories.com. Hi, welcome back to another deck profile. My name is Richard and today I'm gonna to be going over my Altmau Ashley uh, Jewel Knight Grade 2 Beatdown Deck Profile. So it's using the new support from the Clan Selection Volume 2 and uh, just spicing up with some alt boss stuff instead of the typical Sanctuary Guard Blaster profiles. So let's get right into it. Starter is Milius. So alt mile TD starter, keeping the aesthetic, you know. Going right into the Grade 3s, we got four copies of Aerial Divine Knight alt model. So this is playing like a normal alt model deck, so you basically want to ride this as soon as possible, and you're going to be sitting on this for the rest of the game. Um, the first skill is if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, all your grade 2s get uh, 10k power and 5k shield, and if you have an alt model on the soul, it, all your grade 2s get an extra crit. So this is also during your own turn. So obviously, you know, intercepting is going to be really good with alt mile. And then the other skill is act once per turn, kind of blast one, soul blast one. Uh, you call it, you call two grade twos, uh, one from your drop and one from your deck. And then, you know, you just make do with that. You get out your starlight violinist and just, you know, fill that board of grade twos. So next up, new card. We've got four copies of Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley. Sue. Ashley used to be the break ride from Limit Break, so this is cool that we're bringing her back into V Series. So, Ashley's skill is at the end of the battle, this unit attacked, Van or Rear, you soul blast two. Search your deck for a grade two or less card of Jewel Knight in its name, and you call it to Rear. Shuffle your deck. If this unit is on Vanguard Circle, you call two Jewel Knights uh, instead. So, if you're on Vanguard, so you get two units after you battle, which is really cool. The other skill is auto, fan or rear. When another unit is placed on top of this unit, you can count plus one and give it a crit. So that's kind of cool because it kind of plays into the break right aesthetic because the, the old Ashley used to give 10k and a crit, I believe was his break right skill. So very good, especially considering that you can use this on rear, swing, uh, search out a grade 2 Jewel Knight, call it, it gets a crit, and then, or, yeah, you call it, it gets a crit, and then with alt mouse skill, it will have an additional crit, so 3 crit grade 2 is pretty good, um, but also just being able to multi-attack in alt mile is really nice. So lastly, two copies of Blue Sky Knight alt mile. This is mostly just because you want to have more alt miles in the soul, and more alt miles to search for with Edith's skill. Um, this thing's pretty dead most of the time, but you can still use it if you have no damage. So its first skill is, during your turn, continuous, if you have no face of cards in your damage zone, this gets 15k. So it's a really big beater. Um, and then the other skill is when it's on van, you can count plus one, discard a card, search for two grade twos, and add them to your hand. So that's pretty good on paper, but for the most part it's really slow, so you don't want to be riding this. Makes a decent rear guard, but it's mostly just soul fodder and um, just like discard fodder, fodder when you search it out with Sicilis and stuff like that. So, but you know, we just want search targets with Alt Mile in their name. So that was it for the grade threes. Going right into the grade twos, we'll start with the new stuff. New Jewel Knight card. Your name is Explode Jewel Knight Lely. So, this card's really cool. What its skill is, is when uh, it attacks, you can choose two normal units from your drop zone, move them to the bottom of your deck, then you soul charge one, and this gets 5k. Other skill is when another unit is placed on top of this unit, it gets 10k, and that's van or rear. So you can ride this, and then the great three you ride just gets 10k. It's like a free force marker for the turn. And then the free extra 5k is nice, filling up the soul for Ashley's skill, and also just reshuffling grade twos back into the deck so that way you're not having to worry about you know losing out on units in your drop zone, even though Alt Mile does call 
from the drop zone, but you might want to be able to still search out some stuff in your deck. So having that option to put cards back in the deck is cool. So a really good card. There's only so few Jewel Knights so you want to maximize it with four. So that'll be the most obvious thing I'll say. Next up for grade twos, we got three copies of Absolute Blade Knight Livero. So Livero's skill, one of my favorite skills in V-Series by far, um, just design-wise. It's when it's placed from hand, kind of bless one, search your deck for a grade two, um, and call to an open rear. Uh, if you do not have a face up, any face-up damage, you can Soul Blast 1 instead. So you're still paying the cost. If you have a face-up damage, you Counter Blast. Helps you Counter Blast for all miles skill. Or, yeah, to get off all miles skill. If you have all face-down damage, you can still call it a grade 2. Love this card. Um, only running 3 just because there's very limited space in the green 2 pull. And also, since it only works when you call it from hand... Having too many in the deck, they kind of just become vanilla since you're going to be searching from the deck and drop anyways. So, three works. Next up for grade twos, the MVP of the deck, which is Starlight Violinist. So what this does is, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, all your grade twos get boost and can intercept from the back row. So these just complements alt mile really well. You basically always want to have this on the board as much as you possibly can. So really important card for the deck. Um, I was running it at three, but there was some space issues and consistency issues. And I just kind of found that I was able to search out violence enough at two. So keeping it at two works fine. So the rest of the deck is just a bunch of one of So let's just get right into it. So you got one of the promo, Knight of Ambitious Schemes Degun Degnud. Degnud. So what Degnud does is at the beginning of your main phase it gets 5k and if you have no face of card in your damage zone you counter charge. So this is mostly for late game if you need a call target and you know you have the hand to survive but you don't have the counter blast for skills for like alt mile to vote to make an easy board. You have this set up for the next turn that way when your turn starts you just counter charge. So that's the only reason it's helpful, but it is attack, so you want to have that option is nice, so one of it. Uh, next up, a promo reprint that came in the volume collection too. It's when it's placed, if you have another card in the same column, you can soul charge, and if you soul charge a trigger, it gets 10k. So this is like Pongle, except instead of 5, you get 10k. Really good card because um, it acts the same way as Pongle. Is. It's going to be a booster since you're in a Starlight Violinist anyway. Um, and also just a free soul charge just from placing it down. You don't really need a soul charge too much in this deck, I feel like, because of the grade twos, soul charge, and, you know, you can just kind of pull this out every turn if you really need that soul back, so one works fine. Next up, one copy of Hope Song Angel. So Hope Song Angel's skill is you kind of blast one, act once per turn, search for a Starlight Violinist. Yes, that's exactly what it does. And then you just call to rear, and then you're good. So you can call this out, and if you have an open counter blast, counter blast to pull out the violinist, and then you get an extra free unit for a counter blast. Really nice, honestly. So was kind of when I was playing around with this deck, running this at two, just kind of felt like, oh, maybe I want the extra counter blast just for like to pull off skills, or like just to you know counter blast. Nothing happens just to you know fill up the damage make it all face down, but I would, you weren't, aren't really getting any value out of that. So uh, I threw in the one copy of Lamorak because there really wasn't another way I could figure out the best way to take advantage of the extra, you know, counter blast that you needed to fill up. And also since all your grade twos get crits, it makes sense to make them beefier, right? So what Lamorak does is you counter blast one act and it gets 10k. And since it's an act, you can do this as much as you need to. So if you, for example, all face up five damage and you need to win this turn, but you didn't pay any counter blast the whole game somehow, uh, you can just use all mile skill, call this out, and then you counter blast four, give this 40k, and then all your, your damage is face down. Like, if you really need to do that. Um, all the Jewel Knight stuff, for the most part, don't really use counter blast, like all the like attacking parts of them. So all the, the multi-attacking... And the recycling uses souls, so you don't have to worry about, you know, 
worrying about your battle phase. Just basically use your main phase, use up all your cannon blasts as much as you can, and then just go right into the battle phase. So that's it for the one ofs, and I believe that's it for the grade two lineup. So now we're gonna go right into the grade ones, starting with a new card, which was a promo in Japan, but they were nice enough to put it in the uh, volume collection for us. It's uh, four copies of Flourishing Knight Edith. So Edith's skill is when it's placed on Rearguard Circle, you Soul Blast one, look at the top seven cards to call a card with Altma on its name, call it in the same column as this unit. And its other skill is at the end of the battle that it boosted a grade three Rearguard, you put the boost you did into the soul, and you put Edith back into your hand. So definitely for this, just because the main problem that alt model was having was not having that speed where you had two alt models in the soul, because usually you ride the first one, and the following turn you'd have to ride the second one. Get lucky if you soul charged it with Pongol or something, but for the most part, Edith is a better way to help get that alt model in the soul as fast as possible. You can do this, you know, Turn two, you go second, you call this on rear, soul blast your starter, get out alt mal, and then boom, you have an alt mal in the soul for the rest of the game. So this is also really nice because what I really, really like about Edith and why I wanted to do the Jewel Knight version of this deck first was because Edith and Ashley go off at the same time. So if they boost each other, they have the same timing in terms of at the end of the battle that it attacked, at the end of the battle that it boosted, so at the same time. You can use Edith's skill, you move Ashley into your soul, bounce this back to your hand, and then since Ashley skill still went off, you can still Soul Blast 2 to search for a grade 2 or less Jewel Knight and call it even after Ashley has moved into the soul. So I think that's really cool that you can do that. I was even wanted to be sure that I could do this, so I emailed Bushy wrote about it. They seem to agree with my premise of what I was trying to explain. Can you do this? And they said, yeah, you can do that. So I think it's really cool that Edith and Ashley still have that combo. So if you call Edith, you don't get an alt mile. You can still call Ashley in front of it and still, you know, be able to bounce it and get off Ashley's skill while also filling up your soul. So that's pretty neat, if I would say so myself. So that's one of the, another reason why I think the alt mile deck is really fun. So... That was it for Edith. Let's go on to the rest of the grade one lineup. Jewel Knight, this is the last Jewel Knight in the deck. It, what is your name? Your name is Charging Jewel Knight Morvidus. Morvidus. So Morvidus' skill is act, rear guard circle, count plus one. You choose a normal unit uh, from your drop and you put it in the bottom of your deck. Soul charge one and one of your Jewel Knights gets 5K. So you can choose this. The grade two, you can choose Ashley. It's basically a way to make use of your counter blast, gives you soul, and you know, gives a little boost to a unit. So this is nice. It's also a call target for Ashley. So if you need a booster, or if Ashley's on van and you want to call a grade two and a grade one, you have a way to do that. And it's also a really great ride target. Its skill is van or rear. When this is plate, when another unit is placed on this unit, you can draw a card. So if you need to filter, you can just call this call another unit on top of it, and then you can draw a card. So since you're gonna be filling your board with grade twos anyways, if this happens to be on your board already, just call grade two over it, draw a card, you get your resource back. So this is a really nice card. So, and like I said, you write it, you write a grade two, you get to draw a free card. So it's an extra draw, which is nice. And lastly for grade ones, Three copies of Lauren and Sicilis. I did have it at four, but spacing and just consistency issues and also less grade ones and more grade twos. So th that's the reason why we're at three. Van or rear, during your turn, if you have no face up damage, gets 5k. Uh, pretty much always going to get that 5k. Um, when it's placed from hand, look at top three, or top five, sorry. Look at top five for a grade three, add a hand, and if you do, discard a card. So this is nice for trying to search out Ashley if you want to get your multi-attacks off and also just discarding Blue Sky Knight alt mom to get it out of your deck. So good uh, good filter card there. So that was it for the normal units. The trigger lineup is very, very, very simple. We got our draw PGs, the reprinted ones from the volume collection, very shiny triple R foiling we got there. 
And then we got eight crit. So pretty uh pretty standard lineup right there. And then our four heal. But we got the healing Pegasus because it's the alt mile deck. You know, we don't wanna fit the aesthetic. So yeah, that was pretty much it for the deck profile. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm hoping to maybe get some games of this deck out soon because I think it's really fun to play with. Um, definitely a tier two deck, maybe even lower, just because it's an all mile deck. But this is definitely a fun deck, and I can't wait to try it out. So hope you guys see that soon, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.